so 13 years so what would you guys say is like uh one of the things that you guys have learned from each other that uh has helped you guys in, in these 13 years i have to say that we complement each other um what's crazy we're not the same at all we're not the same at all <laughs> So I think that's what complements each other in a weird way. But yeah, um, well, again, I have to go back to say that she's way mature behind her years. So that way, I think we complement each other. What about you, lady? I, I, I know it may sound like cliche, but I think is good communication. Literally good communication. Um, I could be believe it or not, the quiet one. Everybody thinks Victor is quiet and I'm the quiet one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the quiet one. Victor, tell us the truth. We know the truth. <laughs> tell us the truth. I'm in confianza aquí, Victor. Yeah. Tell us the truth. I could, meaning, meaning that he's the talker. Yes. I'm the quiet. So let's say like if we're home, he's always has a conversation. He always has something to say, something to talk about. I'm the one like I just listen and I I just be there. It doesn't I, I'm listening, but I'm just there. And you know, like it, especially in the beginning, he will say, "But are you even listening to me? Am I talking to the wall?" Okay, let me go talk to the wall because you have nothing to say. <laughs> it's like I might as well go talk to the wall because yeah, you're not yeah. responding, and I'm and I'll be, but I'm listening. And for me, that's like I'm here and I'm listening but I necessarily didn't have anything to say about it. Um, so that would be a little something, right? Where he will feel that I wasn't present. But even when we have a, a disagreement or anything like that, it's just talking about it. That has helped a lot, just, just um, expressing, you know, what we like, what we don't like, what we need, um, you know, things like that. Yeah. Awesome. Definitely agree with that. Awesome. And as hard as it is being honest with each other, with what we want and what we don't like. Right. I think that's the key, is knowing things that your better half doesn't like to do, doesn't like, because I think that it avoids issues. And then the better need is knowing what she does like and try to do those things, not just once, but throughout your whole marriage. I think that's the key. That's so funny he says that. We were talking about that earlier knowing her love language knowing your partner's right. love language and what is it that they love and what is it that they do not is mm -hmm. important because that's how you're gonna create that those bound those boundaries and not only that but you also create those memories and doing things for each other which is your connection with each mm -hmm. other so it's definitely key awesome also what what so now okay 13 years what do you guys think is uh what was one of the like hardest moments or or moments that um, you learn the most in these 13 years together of yourself or in the marriage marriage yourself you know in this in this union you know like any of the hardest moments that you felt like okay i saw that and i learned the most about my partner about myself you know hmm. that's an interesting question yeah i mean <laughs> one of the things that i feel that was like uh, a hard moment like through our marriage, especially when, after we had the kid, we had Lucas two years into our marriage and lady was still going to school, working and being very active in church. Mm -hmm. So that kind of took a toll because, and I wanted her like to always, I was always the one, go to school, don't stop going to school. She got her associates, get your bachelor's. She got her bachelor's. All right, you should go for your master's. Like kind of like, I wouldn't let her breathe that way. But, and then, so, it kind of took a toll because she was away out of the house for a lot, you know, with me and Lucas. So like me and Lucas kind of bonded together. Lady was going to work, going to school, going to church, coming home late. And then I saw, I was like, wow, she, she's so strong doing that. Because me, honestly, I would, I gave up school. I lasted college six months. I said, nope, I'm going to go work. <laughs> but I saw something in her that I don't know, like she could be um, better always do better, always do better. And I saw it in her. So I wanted her to have a career. So in a way, like we sacrificed a little, but now we're seeing the fruits mm. of, of, you know, everything that she went through. Yeah, the sacrifices. I like that you said that you, um, she was doing so much and so involved in church. And sometimes 
married couples when they get married they kind of push god to the side right because life is taking over so i love the fact that it was like even though for her life was taking on and you guys had a kid and she was going to school she never stopped and i mean i know lady from when i came to church <laughs> and she's always been involved in church she has never yeah. taken a break or has said god i need a break so i admire that about her i definitely do yes yeah, so you know just to uh, chime in on what he just said i i definitely think that it was probably um um, the challenge, the more challenge, most challenging season, which lasted for a couple of years. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I always wanted to get an education. Um, but you know, like you said, life happens. You know, and 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 it's not easy. Um, but he always pushed me. He'll always say, "You can do it. You can do it." And I said, well, "How am I going to do? I have so much." He said, "You can do it. Keep going. Keep going." Um, but it's true that did take a toll on our relationship um even though everything was taken care of my house was clean laundry done dinner you know and things like that my service um in church was taken care of i like doing things in excellence so everything was good the school i don't want not to brag but i did graduate with a 4.0 my bachelor's and my Ow. master's summa cum laude school was good i was responsible and doing everything i had to do at work so you know it was a lot taking care of my son also at the same time so everything was good but honestly me personally it would take a toll on you because i didn't have me time right. you know <laughs> and even us together if we were together it was always with lucas or doing something you know as a family but us too um no to be honest, that that did take a toll that way in our marriage. 